my war blog. Um, this is um, King Sipa. Playing this one that um, which I wrote this morning. And um, it's the morning now. And it says it's a rough depiction of fighting for King Sipa on the 20th of February or around about there. I think it might have taken a little earlier. Um, but it's hot on the press, so to speak. Um, I'm not going to play this one all the way through. I'm just going to be making another new YouTube video, so if you like it. Um, but essentially, it's interesting because these all, these units are all. Um, no, this isn't what I was thinking. No, these are <laughs> okay. These units are all Syrian army units. Anyway, so the Free Syrian Army there, which are some rebels, we've got these some rebelly people here. Uh, basically, this is a um, mountain stronghold called Kinsiba, and um, held by ISIS, who are fighting to take that back, um, essentially by these units of the 103rd Brigade. So these are all of the 103 Brigade, and these are supporting units. So this is the MDF. Um, this is the Liar Sukhail Saha Battalion. These are actually Marines. They're actually class the sort of ancillary unit. I don't know what they're doing there in the mountains. Um, sort of interesting. Lots of links that I've been looking at. Also some video. This video here is sort of particularly interesting. Um, because it sort of shows some guns going off and things. It's quite I mean, interesting, sadly ironic to sort of notice there's so many buildings in the process of being constructed. You see all the um, rebar and concrete being laid there, and then the demolition guys come along and destroy everything, as you'll see in the video, which is what war is about. But, so, anyway, we've got the Syrian army now fairly. Systematically going from town to town to retaking it. These are still strongholds. Now, I guess that all the terrain here, um, they're actually fortified in there. Instead of fortified stronghold, I didn't see any evidence of fortifications, but uh, I thought I'd give them fortification anyway. I didn't see any direct evidence of the five ISIS having any artillery, but they did look like they had an artillery position up there um, because of the marks on the ground. But, uh, so I thought I'd give them some artillery because it would make sense. This is actually quite a high peak. So are some of these. So I don't really know what the geography around here is. I just sort of made up this little central mountain bit, uh, artistic license. Um, but if you look at the video, it's definitely sort of very hilly. Uh, I mean, sheer, sheer cliffs. I mean, it's you know it's pretty, pretty difficult to get up there. I put this road through. It's not marked on the map there. If you didn't have the road, I don't think the tanks would actually be able to get into the mountains and nor would any of the track vehicles and so it would actually make getting there impossible or theoretically impossible because the only way through it would be through here. Now they didn't do that, they went somehow through this way and then they moved north onto whatever this place is, it's detailed in the thing there. Anyway, as ever I've talked and not played any of the game. Um, it should be a walkover. The these ISIS units are not that strong, but I haven't played it. I hadn't even thought how I'd played it, but essentially we've got this front, and it's going to move up there. I've deliberately put the artillery and the armour back here entrenched, um, just to tease really, because we're going to have to take them out of their entrenchments. <laughs> they're not going to stay there. Um, but obviously there are, I think, fairly generous um, Russian, 15 sorties each, two Russian strategic bombers, just 30 rounds of um, on the fire, so let's just let's just move some counters around. I am definitely not going to play this one through. Um, I'm just really looking to sort of get maybe another little little video in play, um, just in front of it really, for a few minutes. Now, I haven't really thought of anything, but these are start these are going to start getting artillery fire. Question is, um, 
Yeah. I probably went, didn't go round the road. One thing I will be introducing at some point is going to be a map toggle, so that you can toggle all the units off, because sometimes it's actually quite difficult to see what's below. So that is a feature that's not on the list yet, but is in my mind, a, a map toggle. It shouldn't be that difficult to do, but I've got to do it. I don't have any time for that, so. You might not want to move because he's marines. There could be something in the table there that means marines can't move. Well, not so much that they can't move, but they um, see that road definitely goes that way. Two, three, it's lost out there. there. We're going the wrong way. Um, probably means that because his marines is not flagged up as um, having. The movement thing, so I'll have to look into that. One of the reasons why I play the games like this. So, so into a zone of control, and now there's some interesting. Footage in that video of some tanks that were going up what looks like a, a mountain, a, a winding mountain track, just like this, which is one of the reasons I did this. Um, I'm going for the direct immediate assault. Um, put both of these aircraft into there. There's no anti aircraft, but I might do some. That was good. One to one odds with an exchange. That's pretty much what we want. So they're now down to one fatigue, which puts them at 90% strength. Um, I am considering putting in morale checks. Um, I think if they've got to lose a fatigue at 90%, they do a morale check. Um, so they've got to score under their percentage. For example, I've just made this up. And that's what I thought. Based on something along those lines. So as long as they roll under 90%, they're okay. But if they fail, if they roll 92, they wouldn't row instantly. Then they would just do a morale check. Um, 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 you know, they're determining what the effects of that morale check were, um, and they would not be that detrimental. But the thing is, I think once it gets to sort of 10% um, capacity, i.e. 90% oppression, um, I think that the chance of actually something happening again and again, because quite often we get units that go up to 17, um, so I'll definitely be introducing some sort of morale check so that the only thing is, you won't really know, they'll just vanish like it was combat, and uh, they might have flag up sort of thing, you know, vanish because of morale. Now, there's not much they can do. Now, as the ISIS player, I think you need to keep these units entrenched where they are. I think it's tempting to sort of bring everything down here, but you remember, they're sort of playing a historical game at the same time, where they're actually here to defend these places. Now, what they've already done, um, that's not actually in the scenario, it's in the scenario where they move some of their forces away. But this is the next on the list of places to take. So if we move out of there, they'll lose their entrenchment. Um, you know, the point is you're supposed to come through here. This is the battle for um, this place here, so I'm going to do it as it was. Um, so there's only really one thing I think there is to do. I don't want to go for that stack because it's too big. I want to do some damage on the smaller unit. Ah. It could be that they don't have any. Um, that's silly. I wonder if it's fair. No, it looks as though their artillery range is not in order. 
um, so I'll have to look into that, which is a pain. The artillery does all, does actually ordinarily fire, but if I haven't flagged them up, as you can see there, if you look at the mouse over, it says 4M, which is their location, 319. 3 is, well, I'm reading that wrong, because 1 is their fatigues, 9 is their entrenchments, 3 is their potential movement, so they're, 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 the range, I don't think it's flagged up, I'm guessing for that. Um, so, I still don't do anything. So it's really a case of the Russians just blowing the hell out of this place every turn. Another one to one, another exchange. So we're being quite being quite generous on those exchanges. You can see some of the other videos you see exchanges can be pretty poor on a regular basis. It still doesn't want to move, so there's certainly something wrong there. All piling up into there. Um, I mean, there might be some argument to actually leave something here. But I think, assuming that they're not going to come out, um, I think I've got more movement there. So now, ISIS. Yeah, that's fine. Let's be straight to Two errors there, but the Marines and the artillery not working. But I will be able to fix those shortly. We probably won't be able to resist doing another video of this again. Okay, let's see. So, first thing to do, we've got them down now. Two depression factors. Let's see if we can get third time lucky. One to one, no result. Now these infantry can move there. In theory, but maybe they can't because it's a mountain. Hmm. Well, at least we can demonstrate some artillery fire, because in theory, So, about a minute left. Oh, what the hell? I will try it for that assault. So, no results. So we've only got two fifty percent success right now. So, I'm not going to get any more in there, so let's just see in the last 30 seconds whether this all out assault one to one odds attacker retreats. Oh, that's because I rushed it, and they're all over there now. Well, that's the end of that. That's my 15 minutes done. That's the introduction to um, this game. I'll probably do it again. Cheerio.